right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the sincere Shalom to all the IKM out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. This is Proverbs 23 and 4. It says, Labor not to be rich. Cease from thy own wisdom. You know, in this society, you got a lot of people who, um, or I, I should say in this world, you have a lot of people who just think that money is, you know, everything, you know, that they want to be rich. And that's like the answer to all their problems, you know, and it's like, first off, like this money is not really money. You know, we use this, which, which it's called fiat money, but we use this uh, paper that we work all hard for to go buy the real things of value. Now, in this society, you know, that's what you have to do. If you don't uh, work, you don't eat, you know, and, and the scriptures also tell you that also, you know, but we're not supposed to uh, basically sell our soul for, for money, you know, or, or work extremely hard to, to, to get this money or not even just money, you know, just in general, you know, certain people want to buy all type of Jordans. You know, or, or material things. You know, it says, labor not to be rich, cease from thine own understanding. You know, putting in, uh, I mean, sometimes people do, you know, it is required for you to work hard, you know, for your, uh, to make a living, you know, but to try to be rich or have that, that mentality, you know, basically going off with that, you know, like, the thing is, a lot of people equate the Bible to religion when it's like, <clears throat> we're supposed to get paid every day, you know, and we work extremely hard. And you, some, some people get paid every two weeks, some people get paid every week, you know, but basically this is not what life is supposed to be about. Hopefully you ha have enough money saved up by the time you retire, you know. After you done wasted your whole life away working for a company, you know, like, and, and this only goes for, you know, the, the lack more, more so of Israel, because this is not what life is supposed to be about, you know, paying for water, all, everything that, that comes with the society, you know, it says, uh, Proverbs 23 and 5. Wilt thou set thine own I mean will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not you know cause this money is really nothing you know pretty soon the the dollar bill the US dollar is going to collapse you know cuz it's not backed up by anything you know so basically a lot of people going to be waking up and they're going to realize that they can't spend their money they're going to realize that Hey, I we don't control our food, so we gotta steal this food, you know, from the grocery markets, the stuff that really are of value, you know. So, laboring to be rich, that means that you really want the society to continue to go on, and you continue, you want oppression. We wasn't put here in America, you know, from slavery to be rich. We was put here in slavery you know, to serve captivity for going off from our creator, you know, and here we got the Bible telling us that we're special people, you know, and that we deserve much more of the life than what we got, but y'all people don't want to, y'all don't want to wake up, man, y'all don't want to realize that y'all special to the most high, man, in every way possible, you know, the women, y'all love this society, you know, you love the... Uh, for the most part, a lot of women, wherever you got the college go, um, uh, people, the women who go to college, you know, or the women who sit on their butt watching Mari all day, man, you know, on Section 8 with food stamps. You got the females that love this society and love 
the 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 riches that come with this man it says wilt thou set thine own eyes upon that which is not for riches certainly make themselves wings right they fly away as an eagle towards heaven so with that said we go to work all the time you know put in all this work and then next thing you know living paycheck to paycheck and then your money gone you know you you don't have nothing to to show for it man no uh this is Haggai 1 and 6 it says ye have sown much and bring in little ye eat but ye have not enough ye drink but ye are not filled with drink ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages earneth wages to put them into a bag for the holes like i said man like we we put in so much work in this society you know and don't have nothing to show for it for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're the biggest spenders in this society. And we really don't have, because it's not, this society is not meant for us. You know, it's not broken, it's just was built this way. But we don't have anything to sow for our work that we put in, man. This society was built on the blood, sweat, and tears of our people. You know, but we don't have nothing to sow for it. And then at the same time, they make us look like we're savages, you know. And then if you do get your money, you got to conform to the ways of this world. You got to you gotta uh, cut your beard. You got to live according to what they say, man. You got to be politically correct, you know. Um, this is First Timothy... 6 and 10 it says no I'm going to start at the 7th verse it says for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out of it so the people who want to sit up there and, and make all this money you know working and all that stuff buying all these Jordans that stuff, you, you can't take that with you, man. You know? You can't die. and, and Well, you can die with your Jordans, you know? But what, what is that going to do for you? What good is that, man? It says, And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. You know, we got to be content with, with, with the daily bread. You know, just being okay with what we have, man. You know? Of course, we want the 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 riches and, and everything like that, man. But not in the society, you know. It's all vanity. It's all it's all pointless, you know. This is this is like I said. We wasn't brought here to be in heaven. We was brought here to be in hell, a living condition, man. And we we gotta serve this, man. While we here. Man, if you if if you if you think that this is your rest, man, it's going to destroy you, man. You know you got to wake up, man, because this 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 is not what what life is supposed to be about, man. You just got to be content with the food, man. Be content with, with, with whatever you have, you know, and, and and keep it moving, you know. It says, "But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare." And into many faith, foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Now, I tell you this, you know, be, from, from experience, man. Like, I used to have money, you know, and, and, and people would call it life-changing money. This was way before I came into the truth. But I lost all that, you know, trying to help people out, you know, being, being a, a, a generous, genu genuine guy. You know, I lost all that, you know, but I wouldn't change none of that for the for the world, man, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, I, I got some, I got my riches is laid up in heaven, man, you know, my riches is, is these scriptures, you know, the, I had to go through everything that 
I went through money, you know, losing it, you know, the woman problems, everything, you know, in order for me to get where I need to be with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And for that, I never changed that, man. You know, the Lord gave it to me and he, he took it away from me, man. And and I'm I'm basically trying to help, you know, the, the brothers, you know, coming to this, you know, this is, this is like some real spiritual stuff, man. You got to come into this with a, with a spiritual mind, you know, with a spiritual mindset, man. And, and, and of course, when I had the money, I was naive. I ain't know anything, man. And I don't regret it. You know, I, I, I made some, some terrible decisions, you know, but at the same time, like throughout throughout those decisions, I gained experience, man. And and, and one of the, the 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 best experiences, man, is is our Father, man, our Creator. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. You know, you got when you when you got money, you know, you don't know who your real friends are. You know, everybody wanna wanna come at you with everything, man, to to answer their problems, man. You know, and, 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 and through the scriptures, man, it give you that wisdom, you know, of what you should do, what you shouldn't do, you know, when you got money. So, it, it, being content with what you got, man, you know, and being smart, you know, you help out the brothers that's in the, in the truth, you know, but at the same time, you're going to have a lot of people come up, especially worldly people that's going to come up and they're going to want your money, man. They 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 they're gonna want you like if you got a car, hey, can you drive me to here to and no you know, to and fro? You know? And these these are people who really don't have your best interest at, at heart, man. You know? Cause, Cause when that money was gone, all those people that was that was around me, they all left, man. You know? Like no nobody really I I gained the brethren. You know, and they've been there for me, you know, but the, the, the people that's not in this truth, that's not in this, you know, that, that, but their everyday problems, their everyday bull crap, man, you know, you could do without that, you know, all, all just for being wise, man, and coming into this truth and, and really having faith and trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because he, he took all that stuff away from me, you know. But now all I really got, you know, is him. And of course, he, you know, he gave me, you know, he, he I, I'm not going to say it's a blessing, you know, because this is like, this is hell, man. But he gave me something that I'm content with, man, you know. So I'm, I'm doing decent, you know, but this is, this is not about me, man. I'm just trying to, you know, give out some, some words of wisdom of, of how we supposed to be thinking. In the society, it says, First Timothy 6 and 10, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which some, I mean, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You know, like I said, man, when you get that money and you love it, you know, and you want to, you, you, you find yourself in doing mad, different, crazy stuff, man. You know, I wasn't one of the ones that was doing that, man. But, like, you find yourself doing mad crazy stuff, man. Dipping in, in, in to other wickedness that you don't need to, to be into, man. And, and and at the same time, once you got that money, it starts distorting your, your, your judgment, man. You know? Even when you when you pour, it distorts your judgment, you know? Because you got some people that, would, what, what they, when they're rich... They would try to give more, you know, and try to act like that's uh, they're better than somebody, you know. But meanwhile, you got the people that are poor that would not want to give as much, you know, because they, they think that they don't have that much, you know. But the most I, you know, he don't require you to to give me give him uh uh, more than, than, than what you, what you, uh, what he want from you, man. This is, uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. 
It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not onto your own understanding. You know, leaning onto your own understanding is, is thinking that 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 money is 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 the answer for all your problems. Hey, they they got a song called "More Money, More Problems." You know. <laughs> uh, this is um, uh, John six and twenty seven. It says, "Uh, labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat." which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give you, for him have the God, I mean, for him have God the Father uh, sealed. You know, we're not supposed to be laboring for um for this food out here, man. Especially with this food out in this society, you go to work all all, all this, this time, and you go pay for some food that's bullcrap, man. It's not even worth it, man. You know, the dollar bill is losing its value slowly but surely. You know, but it's it. Back in the day, it was what you could go to the store with a dollar, come out with four bags of chips. Nowadays, you go to the store with a with a dollar, you probably get like two bags of chips or one. You know, and that's not really worth it, man, because it's chips at the first in the first place, man. But it's, that that just shows you what the way things are going, man. And it says labor not for the meat that perishes. You know, this this meat, you get that, be bad in like two days, man. You know, it says, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. You know, these scriptures, man, it, it tells you, once you do the work that you, you, how about, of what you, how about some of y'all saw, once you, you have faith, you know, then, then, You'll have that everlasting life, man, and and them, them riches, man. You know, that's that will that won't perish, man. The the riches that the promises that y'all by some y'all side is giving us, you know, or said, do you know if you endure, you know, and you have the elect, you are the chosen, you know, those promises are exceedingly great. You know, it's beyond your imagination of what what what's in this society because we all know what was here you know what 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 you gonna do go to a a, a a little vacation you know you end up rich you go on a vacation then you gotta go right back to your job man you know and 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 it's the same thing you don't really get no break you know that's that's bull crap man you don't really get to spend time with your children you know, in this society, for the most part, because you spend your time at 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 at, uh, at work all day, and then your child be in school, you know, or or I mean, this is just a scenario that I'm saying, but your child be at school, you know, getting indoctrinated, you know, and then for y'all people that want to be rich, man, do you know anybody that's rich, man? You know, how many people do you know that just all of a sudden just made it, man? That's how you could tell that this not this is not our our society, man. Um, I'm gonna get two more scriptures. This is Luke twelve and twenty. It says. Uh, it says, but the most I said unto him, thou fool, this night your soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards the most high. You know, you go to school, uh, I mean, not school. Well, you can say go to school, go to college. You know, end up working for somebody else or, or, or hit the lottery. You know, all of this thing, all of these riches, whether it's money or, or material possessions, you know, the most high don't require none of that. You know, those riches that you want for yourself, you know, 
And you can't take it with you, man. As I said before, you know, none of this stuff is 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 everlasting, man. You know, you gotta make sacrifices, man, when you come into this, man. And one of them sacrifices is knowing that you're not gonna be out here making it rich, man, or being rich, man. If the Lord bless you with that, man, and so be it, man. But that's just the temptation, man. He he checking to see whether you're gonna be a real brother or not, man. And you got we had a situation with that. This is Proverbs 30. And and 8. It says, Remove far from me vanity and lies. Right? That 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 rich being rich, having the, the, the fancy designer clothes, you know, and all name brand stuff, man. That's all vanity, man. You know, and it's a lie, man. You 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 got these um celebrities, man, who push that image, man. That's a lie, man, because those people, you know, even though they make it look like they're rich, man, they they be bankrupt, you know. They they they, they try to make it seem like okay, this dress caused this much, man. It really don't, man. You know? It's all lies, man. Y'all people want to be celebrities, have the, the, the fame. You know, that's not the time for that, man. In the, in the kingdom, we're going to have that fame, man. You know? And we're not going to be, it is, it's not going to be a lie, man. You know? When people see the elect, man, they're going to know that that's the truth, man. And those people stood up for the truth, man. The Most High is going to get, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to give us that blessing, man. You know, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be beyond our imagination. It says, give me neither poverty nor riches, right? Because as I said before, when you're poor, you know, when you're at a poor state of mind, you start thinking like, man, I got to hold on to these things that I have, man. Well, when you're rich, man, you start thinking that, hey, man, I got to give, I, I, I can do it, man. I, I can do that, man. But the most high don't require that, man. It says, feed me with food convenient for me. You know, the daily bread, man, is, is, is one of the prayers say, man. It says, lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and still and take the name of my, my, my power in vain. You know? Now, I'm going to end it with, with another scripture. This is Matthew 6 and 11, right? It says, well, it's this, as I said before, the, 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 the prayer, you know, it says, give us this day our daily bread, man. We're supposed to be content, man. That's one of the things that we pray for. But this is the scripture that I wanted to, to end it with, man. Because the thing is that the dollar bill is about to collapse, you know. And, and a lot of people ain't going to know what to do. You know, but the scriptures pretty much tell you straight up what's going to happen, man. What what type of mindset you should be in, man. We don't know what's fully going to happen, you know, as far as with our personal uh, beings, man. But but the scriptures tell you what, my, what mindset you should be supposed to be in. This is Matthew 6 and 25. It says, therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What? Ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your Father, your Heavenly Father, feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so cloth the grass of the field, which is which today is, 
and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not more much more cloth you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whether while whether withal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things, but seek ye, I mean, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You know, so the thing is, right? Not laboring for to to be rich, man, because that's the the main thing. You know, the the having faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's the that's the most important thing, man. Through all all this, your woman can go, man. Your 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 family can go. You know, your children could go, man. You know, and some people can't count those as riches, man. You know, I live my life for my children. You know, that's the, the mentality that people have. But it says that the Most High, you know, our Father, our Creator, knows that we need all these things, man. So if He knows that we need all those things, when this dollar bill collapses, man. How much more now, man? And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to y'all by seeing y'all side. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the sincere Salawam to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawam.